But I think that's enough about the generalities and basically what we went over there is what the CE marking is and how the construction product CE marking is related to other product CE marking. And then we talk a little bit about the harmonized standards and how to find out if your product has harmonized standards. But now let's take a closer look at what is actually the point of a CE mark in a construction product. And just, a, just as a forewarning, I would just like to say that what we are going to be talking here doesn't apply to other products. So what's the point of a CE mark in a construction product doesn't translate that this is the same thing with machinery or this is the same thing with medical devices or toys and so on. So we are just talking about what is the point of a CE mark in a construction product. So in, in its essence, if we take all other things away, a CE marking is nothing more but a way to declare products essential characteristics. It is not a sign of quality. It is not sign of, especially it's not sign of good quality. This is just a unified way to declare products characteristics. So a CE marking in its essence is just a listing of product characteristics that the manufacturer has determined and nothing more. So in some instances you hear that CE marking is a quality thing or whatever. It in fact has nothing to do with quality and it's just a listing of characteristics. And what the CE marking also does is to unify the way in which the product characteristics are declared. So basically what the standard does is it unifies the vocabulary and with the CE marking there is only one way to declare stability and what is meant by stability and there is only one way what, and there is only one meaning for wind load and there is only one meaning for durability there is only one meaning for shadow proper properties and so on. So with the CE markings and with the, with the harmonized standards, there is only one way to define product characteristics. And it actually becomes quite obvious if we take a look at some example CE markings. And here we have a CE marking for structural steel product. In this case, it's welded, welded steel beam. Here we have a CE mark for roller, roller shutter. And here we have a CE mark for steel tank. And if we forget everything that's above here, and this is just general information regarding the manufacturer and what standard are used to CE mark the product. And we look at everything that's below this. We can see that the CE marking actually is nothing more than a list of characteristics. So here we have the characteristics that are related to this welded steel beam. Geometrical tolerances, fracture toughness, weldability and so on. And here we have the characteristics that are related to this shutter, wind resistance. And here we have the characteristics that are related to steel tanks, wall thickness and dangerous substances. And the thing is that each and every single CE marking looks something like this with construction products. So at the, at the bottom we have, no, at the top we have the identifying information of the manufacturer and also the product. And then we have a list of characteristics and nothing more. And what I said before is that the standards that we use to see mark the product basically unify what is meant by each characteristics and how to define it. So for example, if we have defined our shutter's wind resistance to be a technical class 3. It means that the wind, wind resistance in itself self has been defined and standardized in the standard. So there is no variation between different manufacturers on how they have defined this characteristic called wind resistance. So if we have two shutters next to each other from different manufacturers and both of them declare these characteristics called wind resistance. And one of them has technical class three and the other one would have technical class two. We as a customer 
would be certain and could be comfortable comparing these two products with each other because we know that the, both manufacturers have defined the wind resistance the same way and they have also actually determined the product's wind resistance in the same way. The same thing goes for every other product and every other CE mark. So for example, if we have reaction to fire as one of the characteristics that is declared as part of the CE marking, we can be sure that this, how the manufacturer has defined reaction to fire is similar to every other manufacturer who has CE marked their structural steel product. And wall thickness has always, with each and every CE marking has been defined the same way and this property has been determined the same way. So if this manufacturer says that their wall thickness is class A and the other competing manufacturer says that their wall thickness is also class A, we know for sure that the wall thickness in both products is comparable with each other. So just to reiterate this thing, CE marking is not a sign of quality. A CE marking has nothing to do with quality, but CE marking in construction products is just a list of essential characteristics that can be declared. And the way they have been declared and determined is always the way that was presented in the standard. So these products are comparable with each other. So I have all, already been mentioning it a little bit, but in, in addition of standardizing the characteristics, the CE marking also standardizes the way how the manufacturer determines the characteristics. So there is now with CE marking, there is a unified way, a unified definition of each and every characteristics that is presented in the CE marking and a unified way to determine them. So the product, products actually become comparable with each other. And the harmonized standards have detailed instruction on how to determine each characteristics and also what characteristics can be determined and can be presented in the CE marking. So as a summary, CE marking is not a quality mark, but it's just a unified way to declare and determine product essential characteristics. I'm just gonna go ahead of myself. These are listed in the standards, so manufacturers don't have the ability or the freedom to decide what characteristics to present in the CE marking, but these are given out in, given out in the standard. But this leads that the CE marking has unified the way to declare and determine the product's essential characteristics, leads directly to the conclusion that with CE mark, products from different manufacturers and product, products manufactured in different EU countries are comparable with each other in terms of performance, not in terms of quality, but in terms of performance with, relations, with relation to these essential characteristics that are given, given in the CE mark. 